Hello fellow inhabitants of Palworld and welcome to today's video. So we finally got done building our base and finished decorating it, so I thought we'd take a look around it today. As with our Ark build, the Dino Lord has actually built the structure of the building and I think he's done a fantastic job with the tools that you're given on Palworld because it's a little limited in comparison to Ark at the moment, but they are constantly updating the game and they said it's not finished yet, so I imagine they'll be adding more ways to build and more structures in the future. So let's take a little look around. Not a lot in the garden, so the main building is the main thing. So as you can see, he's gone up a few layers with these peaks, and then we've got this lovely staircase coming down the front. And we've put ivy and stuff going up all of the walls, I just thought that looked quite cool. I started doing that, but I wasn't keen on what I did, so I asked him to finish it for me, and I think he's done a great job. And you can't remove the ivy, or at least I haven't found a way on Xbox to be able to remove it once you've placed it. So fair play to him, he had to just work with what I had done. So if we come up here, those walls that you see up here with the bells in front of them, they're actually the defense walls, so they don't have a snapping point, so you do have to place them quite carefully, but I think they look quite cool. So you see our generator is actually inside that tower, and I know a pal needs to get to it to power it, but we found if we use the beacon and we get him out, he's really good because he just all of a sudden gets a light bulb above his head and he can like power it from here. So I have put the pals away for this video because they were making it look really messy. What with Because we can't turn the HUD off yet on Pal World on console anyway, at least. I didn't like having all of the tame names and stuff up everywhere, well, the pal names, I should say, above their heads everywhere. It looked a little messy. So when I wanted to show you the base, I thought I'll put them all away for this. So let's come back around the front. So you can see we've got a fountain on either side of the staircase. And if we take a look over this side, I've just decorated with a bench and a couple of plant pots. I love all the little decor things that they've got in this. It's so cool. There's so much you can do with them. And a little potting station over in the corner here behind the wheat field. And then if we take a look around this side of the house, we've got some little pal bedrooms. So we didn't use the super fancy beds because they're massive, aren't they? And they take up so much space. They look lovely. And they're quite expensive on resources, but they do look nice, but they're massive. Like we'd have to, I don't know where we would put them all. Let me know what beds you guys use. So I've just decorated their bedrooms. I thought they'd want somewhere comfy to sleep. So I've put some regular shelves and some wall shelves and a lamp in each of the rooms. It was a bit hard to get the plant pots on top of the plain wall cupboards. So it took a little bit of messing about with, but I think it was worth it. And I love the bedrooms that he made for them to live in. I was so pleased when he did it. I was like, thank you, they're really nice. <laughs> so let's take a look around this side of the building. Just so you can have a look in case you want to do something similar maybe. And then we'll come around the front and over to this side of the base. So we've got some more decorations here. I love how you can stack stuff. So you can put plant pots on barrels, you can put barrels on benches, so that is brilliant. So we've got the regular forges out here because they look a bit nicer than the industrial forge. Just a bit more decoration down here by the food bowl. Just near the berry plantation. And then we've got the stump and axe with the plant pot next to it, obviously. Now we've got the little minecart, which looks so cute, doesn't it? And I love these barrel things, but I didn't have anywhere to put them inside the house. So I've put them outside here, and this little like witchy area. And I know it looks like the fire is burning the carpet. I did think that, but I still like the way it looks, so I've left it here. The variety of rugs is so good as well. I cannot wait to see what they do with this when they add more stuff, because it's just beautiful. And the silo, the silo looks amazing. So we've got our industrial forge out here because the creatures don't seem to want to use it if they're too sort of indoors, if that makes sense. They don't seem to want to come and cook, especially the larger creatures. They don't want to cook the metal if they're enclosed, so they, they kick off a little bit. So I've put it outside. And you'll see we've used the benches as railings. So we've seen another YouTuber doing this. I can't remember what his name was. If I find it, I'll put it in the description below because he's the one who thought about doing benches as railings because we don't have railings in Pal World yet and we desperately need them. So we'll take a little bird's eye view from up here just so you can see what the back of the building looks like. So this is actually quite near to the starting area as you might have guessed. It's just kind of down the road from it. So we've got an extra wheat mill by the water here, and that's because the Dino Lord thought it looked nice. It looked a bit like a water mill, so we've left that there. Now we'll come around the front here, and I think it's about time we started looking at the inside of the base. So first off, let's head into the barn. 
So in here is the, the larger PAL bedroom. So I've scattered some rugs on the floor. I say scattered, two are strategically placed, one scattered. And again, I've used some shelves and then I've put... Oh, I've missed one. I've missed one above that window. Give me a second. This was supposed to be here. I can't believe I'm doing a base tour and I haven't put this shelving unit up. You know what it's like though, you start doing something and you've got something in your mind and then all of a sudden you get distracted by something else. It's, that's what Pearl World's like, isn't it? You've got like a thousand and one things to do and then you just get so distracted. Right, pretend you didn't see that. So this is the main Pearl bedroom and we've got a chandelier on the ceiling there. And then if we come around here, we've got all of our assembly lines. So these are the assembly line plus twos. It took me ages to get to the right level so I could have all three in here for the base to be finished. And then we've got a partition wall there because I'm not too keen on the way the metal storage looks. So I wanted them kind of hidden. And then we've got the refrigerator and the cat isn't out. I just remembered, so our food's going to be spoiling. Let me just get this little fella out quick. There we go. And if we come around here, you can see we've got like a, a garage section over on the left. So you can stack the tires. How awesome is that? You can actually stack the tires on top of each other. I love that so much. Then we've got the metal wall shelves, the toolbox, obviously, so that the production's a bit quicker. And then some plants and boxes. So we store our blueprints down here because we've got the advanced workbench down here, which you need for the blueprints, don't you? So this is just like a little work area, I guess. And then look how cool if you can put the massive plants on the barrels as well. I love that so much. This game is amazing. And if we come under the stairs here, there's another little nook which is just for the crafting stations, which I thought looked really pretty. Because we don't use much of the other crafting stations. Now we've got the assembly lines. It's mainly like the repair bench and the advanced workbench. This is where I put them. So that is the downstairs garage and PAL bedroom. Now it's time to have a look inside the actual house. And this was my favorite thing to do. So the Dino Lord put the Anubis statue out here with a couple of braziers which for some reason aren't lit up when he joins my game, but they're lit up for me, not sure why. And I've done a stool either side of the front door with one of the larger plant pots on it. And then we've got the little garden. You know the things that help with the production of your crops? And these were expensive, but he had to have them and he needed those precious flowers. So, oh, I was farming for hours to get enough flowers because he really wanted those there. Typical him, but yeah, I farmed for those. They, they, they're worth it, to be honest. They do look really nice. And if we come in here, this is the main living area. Just have a turn around and you can see what we've got going on on the back wall. So we've got a bookcase and a clock, some shelves, plants and a rug. And then I wanted a grand piano. I had to have a grand piano. We did originally have all the crafting stuff in here, but I wanted this to look a bit more homely. And like I said, the creatures weren't doing much. They didn't seem to want to come in to work. So we've got a little comfy corner and then more decor, fireplaces. And I do like the decorative structures that they've got in it, but nothing seems to match, I've found. Which I think is kind of cool, but I would have liked some of them to match a little bit. This is a smaller cooking area. And then the stairs lead down into the garage. And so I've put like a little chill out area for the pals inside here. And the TV has moving pictures on it. I couldn't believe that. I thought that was so amazing. So yeah, that's a little like break area for the pals, you know, when they've been busy, they want to come and sit down for a little bit, watch a bit of TV, you know, before they get back on shift. So we'll head back up the stairs and over here we've got a writing desk and some bookcases. And then we've got more rugs with tables on and then a wall shelf. I love the wall shelves. I think they're so cool. And I love that bookcase. That is my favorite thing. The massive large like cabinet bookcase. I just think that looks gorgeous. Right, let's head into the bedroom. We got our fancy beds. And there is so much decor, isn't there? There is so much decor. I love it. I wish there was a way to go into photo mode for this, but I'm sure they'll implement it at some point in the future. And I wanted one of those nice vintage Queen Anne Chesterfields in here with the footstool because I just thought it looked really cool. I did try putting a fireplace in here, but I wasn't keen, so I took it out. And the iron shelving, I didn't try that until quite late on. And I'm glad I did because it actually looks really nice. So that is the bedroom. Now let's head up the stairs. 
So on the middle section here, I've just put a couple of chairs, a couple of plants and some shelves, just to make it look a bit homely. And then what house is complete without a bathroom? You've got to have somewhere to go to the toilet, haven't you? So the bathroom was the first one that I decorated in this base, to be honest, and I really enjoyed it. The Dinalords put curtains up here. The curtains don't seem to work unless you've got a too high building with a flat roof. So we couldn't put curtains everywhere, but he went nuts and put them everywhere in here, and I love it. And I do love the bathroom furniture. I think it's so cool. I love the wash basin and all the little details on it. And the bathtub with the curtain behind it. It just looks so cute. And then behind the partitions, we've got here our toilet. We wanted that to be a bit hidden as you're coming up the stairs. So someone can go, don't come in, I'm on the toilet. And the little toilet roll holder, so cute. So I didn't want it too low down because like, you don't want to be bending down to have to grab the tissue, do you? So I put it on one of those little iron, like, side table things. So that is the inside of the base. It's been so much fun to decorate. Like I said, we're so used to Ark, where you can be more elaborate with the building pieces, but there's not as many decorative items unless you use mods. So it's been really, really nice. So let's go outside and take a fly around of the whole building. And let me know what you guys think of the base. What type of thing are you building? Because have you struggled like us with having the pals actually do work when they're enclosed, with them not wanting to actually come into a building and stuff? They seem to like to, because like our, at our metal base, they work a lot harder because there's no roof It's and everything's out in the open. But we like having a nice base. And I'm so glad the Dino Lord came on and built me one. I wasn't sure he was going to play it because he's so hardcore arc. But when he came on and he started building, I think he got more into it than what he'd like to admit. And hopefully he'll build more stuff in the future because I'm so pleased with what he's done. Because some of the build pieces, like the walls that intersect with the slopes, it's like you have to put the walls down before you can put the slopes or the slopes won't fit. So there's been a lot of trial and error, but I'm really pleased with what he's done. And I had to show it to you guys today. And hopefully you liked it too. If you did, maybe leave a like on the video and consider subscribing if you're not already. We're planning to do quite a lot more Pal World in the future. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a great day and take care. Get the bell on.